And you know what? That walks us straight into our next topic because the more things change, the more they stay the same. Somehow, after spending half a billion dollars delivering zero projects in six years, J.J. Abrams' Superman film is still happening. How does this man continue to make money? (laughs) I don't understand how this one was not called. guy. Yeah. That's all there is. So, in case people missed it, the Superman reboot that's set in the late 30s slash 1940s featuring a Clark Kent that is of color is still in development. I why not just do the Wait, that's not the thing? Abrams one, is it? Apparently they're the, the rumors are that they're merging the two of them. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So like the Max oh, no. series, which is isn't exist anymore, has kind of been merged into this one. So it's the period piece where Abrams is producing and he's not directing and yeah. Yeah, this sounds like a bad idea. The, yeah, the, the <laughs> that's very good. Grab it immediately. Good God. The the Max one, the one where Michael B. Jordan was um supposed to do. Apparently, mm. that's been scrapped because that's Val Zod. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm kind. Yeah. Yo, you know what? It's too, this is the problem. <laughs> there, there's just too much going on at once. So. Yeah, yeah, there is. Just, just, just scrap all of them. Just, just you know, Bro, establish the DC Abrams first. a job. Yeah, yeah. Who is uh, giving DC a job? Saslav. Bro. Or I guess Gunn, technically. Gunn and Safra. Maybe what, this is what one was of the those... last projects that Abrams has done? Star yeah. Wars. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I tell a lie, he him and his kid did, or I say him and his kid. He he paid Marvel money so his kid could have his name on a book written Bro, by him. I Yo, cannot... book sucked too. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to find out that. J.J. Abrams, like, he's just embezzling money at this point for WB. That has to be the only thing that's going on. There can't be anything else. I don't care. I don't care. It's how does this happen? He had video games. No games came out. And also, somebody explained to me, how does this fit into the whole bigger overarching thing? Because now it's like, oh, we're going to have just multiple Superman, multiple Batman, even though we said oh, it's, it's like the Batman, right? It's an Elseworld thing, it's not in the DCU. Mm. Yeah, so just it's like the Spunk in the MCU, right? It's, yeah, yeah, it's a multiversal thing that exists it, in a in a snow globe. It won't matter up until James Gunn decides he wants to do something with uh, like Crisis, and then it's yeah, like, yeah, when, right. when Crisis is a thing, then it'll be relevant but yeah yeah that checks out honestly and that's so give it 10 one. years when crisis is the thing and mm-hmm. you know the abrams movie comes out and leads directly into it because yeah, yeah. Coming out now. like i'm okay with this take on superman but can we get the other superman the, the primary one out and like you know i mean i don't think you have to worry about abrams actually making this movie to be honest well that that is true that is very true because yeah. Now, if he makes the money, then they're going to have to make it a tax write off. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I do wonder, like, do you even ask him if he's working on it, or like, do they say, no, I don't feel like it, and just hang up on him? Because I mean, they they gave him like half a billion, so he, they don't have to really ask him anything. They just throw throw it out there. Uh, he spent four years developing Constantine Justice League Dark, and as far as they got was a piece of concept art. So that man knows how yeah. to stretch half a billion dollars. Yeah. <laughs> that's the real talent. Yeah, that's that like is. that's a very expensive commission. See, if if he really wants to make sure that he keeps getting paid for this, he'll just be like. Yeah, we're going to do it more practical. And we brought Guillermo del Toro to design the villains of the film. <laughs> and... Isn't he working on the Frankenstein movie? Yes. But after. <laughs> but... <laughs> so we'll see you in 2048 when this <laughs> film can be set 100 years before its actual events. Later. <laughs> oh, oh man. God. So, yeah. So that's our small little update on JJ's Superman project, which somehow has survived the culling. Among all the other projects, I mean, is it even really his if they've merged it with the other one? They'll just keep his name on it because for some reason it drives people to watch projects. I, I don't know. Apparently. I mean, does it or is it the IP his name's attached to? 
Yeah, that's true too. Like, did he anyone go see Star yeah. Wars for Abrams? Like, no, that's sort of Star Wars. Same with Star Trek as well. It's like, exactly. no, people were gonna. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. That that is true. Well, I suppose that's it's it for the Just that Whedon one. effect, right? No one's going to see it for Just Whedon. People are going to see it for the IP. Exactly. Yeah, that's fact. That's fact. So, um, I guess just 